guys, this is guys, Simone. Welcome, welcome back to the channel, and Happy New Year! Uh, for as our first video for the year, I decided to make a paint storage for these amazing paints right here. This is the Armored Komodo transition paints. Pretty much any paint line they have carries the same uh, bottle as this and other paint brands, I guess. Uh, I really love the transition paints. Actually, Armored Komodo is my number one paint brand. That's my highly recommend. And uh, they did not sponsor this video, but they technically sponsored another video. It's not this. It's coming. It's coming. Trust me. Just takes a while. <sighs> a lot of editing. Anyhow, so we're going to make a paint wrap for this. And let's get to it. So we're going to do this in Blender. Uh, Blender is my go-to 3D program. I know there's CAD, but I, I, ju I just love Blender because it's free. Thank you, Blender Foundation. Um, yeah, I already made a lot of prototypes already. Like like these. These are the first prototypes. They this one is a little tight, and th this one is too much. <laughs> I mean, it's perfect, but it's a uh, too much. I mean, too much filament's gonna be wasted here. So yeah, the plan is to make a circle rack instead, which is like these. As you can see, but this is the first duration. It's awful, so I have to make a new one. This, this one's a little tight, and this is the first demo. So we're gonna be making this in Blender, then print our first prototype for the prototype of the prototype. But yeah, I don't know making stuff is kind of complicated, but let's go. Okay, let's try this out, and it fits, <laughs> nice, a little snug, which is really fine because, because of the labeling, but it fits. It's gonna be hard doing this with one hand, but oh, there you go, and off. <laughs> Ta -da! Let's try it out. So here it is on its final form. Uh, this is a twenty lot uh, rack, and with the power of editing, it's born. Ta da! Look at that. It's actually now storing twenty paints, and it's cool. <laughs> yeah. So. This is amazing. Um, there's also uh, an iteration for this where you let this you know, stand like that. If you want to, you can and face it this way. Uh, if you can kind of see it in the camera, just push it for a little more forward and then you can use it as your standard paint rack. Now, if you guys are wondering how to get this, I will leave a link down below where you can download the file for you to try at home if you want if you have your own 3d printer or maybe it's just i will pretty much also send a blend file if you need it also if you cannot print yourself i will be linking a shoppy link for you guys out there who wants to buy the rack like this and yeah it's it's effective it's working i love it you can just grab your paints and ready to go store it uh, if you guys need more I'll just let you know. Need I don't know, mean just let me know <laughs> if you need more bigger lots and maybe we can adjust it. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching and this is Kaizen Sama and I'm enjoying my rack. That sounds so wrong again. So yeah, here's the power shots and goodbye. <laughs>